Dr. Johnson, real face was telling me that you've been sick for the past five days. Okay, you've had some achiness and some runny nose and some cough. Okay, and then fever as well. Your child is sneezing, coughing, and has that achy, feverish, can't move a muscle feeling. How do you know whether it's a cold or the flu? The flu, you're gonna feel very achy, very tired. It sounds like that's what's been going on. A lot of times the flu it. is a term that parents will frequently use for a variety of illnesses. Runny nose, vomiting, diarrhea, all of those have been used. Dr. Jamie Friedman of Children's Physicians Medical Group says it's important for parents to know the difference between cold and flu symptoms. Influenza is a viral infection that is very serious and can cause high fever, body aches, chills, headache, fatigue, sore throat, sometimes a cough. Cold symptoms usually last for about a week. Most flu symptoms gradually improve over two to five days but it's not uncommon to feel run down for a week or more. If the child is seen within the first 24 to 48 hours of symptoms, we can treat the child with Tamiflu, and we can also treat household contacts with Tamiflu to prevent spread. A common complication of the flu is pneumonia. If you notice shortness of breath, or a fever that comes back after a day or two, or signs of dehydration, let your doctor know right away. Sometimes when you have a virus, you also have a secondary infection that's caused by a bacteria, like in your ears or in your lungs, and that's when we would go ahead and use antibiotics. We do have flu shots that are available to prevent the flu, and that is a really important way to keep people from getting sick. The youngest age to get the flu vaccine is six months, and we recommend the flu vaccine for every child six months and over. Do you feel like things are starting to get a little better? Yeah, today they start to get better. Exactly. So I think the next few days you're going to see some improvement. Probably not going to see as much fever. The fever. Teach your children to cover their mouth or nose when they cough or sneeze. Most experts believe that the flu virus is spread mainly by droplets made when people cough, sneeze, or talk. As they grow, young kids will fight a host of ongoing viruses and bacteria as their immune systems continue to strengthen and mature. To learn more about colds and flu or any other children's health topics, go to our website, cpmgsandiego.com, or call 877-276-4543.